Hey, what is up and welcome to this video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today, I'm going to continue with my arena cutoff series and cover my predictions for the round one of Punisher and Hyperion. So let's go ahead and jump into the details. So the first thing I always like to do with these arena cutoffs is figure out kind of which category do each of the champs kind of fit in. And in the case of um, Punisher, Really, we're looking at um, we're really looking at him fitting in the old um, the old category because with the four star feature and the three star feature, when I looked at the numbers, there was basically two kind of main patterns: one pattern for the new champs and one pattern for the old champs. And when it comes to Hyperion, well, actually the four star basic uh, arena, there's really three kind of main patterns I saw: one for high in demand, one for medium demand, and one for low demand. Um, champions and with Hyperion and the, the as in his name itself the hype of Hyperion he's really uh, going to be a high demand um, I predict anyway that he'll be a high demand four star basic uh, champion then again with the three star Punisher is a old uh, champion so what does all this mean so when we look at the four star feature results for old champs you can see they pretty much sit around I mean since the uh, the new four star feature arenas have been around they've been sitting around four million uh, almost five million for the first uh, round and then almost six million for the second round they kind of go back and forth kind of around those numbers um, even through Gamora but then really with Star Lord because of um, his importance in the game and just how um, you know good of a champ he is in the game he really spiked up those numbers and there wasn't even, and there was even a little bit of a spike for the second round of Gamora, where most second rounds ended right around six million. Hers went to six point six. So when I think of Punisher, while he doesn't have this, he's the same utility in the game or just overall gameplay as Star Lord, he is a pretty rare champ to get because up to this point, most folks have been only been able to get him through the arena crystals, and he's a rare hit there. So again, while he may not, while he is categorically a old champ, um, he's probably going to be somewhere between the typical old champ and star lord just because of how rare he is and then when we look at the four star basic results for high tier champs you can see that um, they've been anywhere from three million four million from first round and then um, after rogue when we started going with quake you can see the second round there's always a drop so like with quake it was 4.6 million then dropped to 3.3 Ghost Rider was 4.3, then dropped to 3.9. Mordo was 5 million, then a big old drop to 3.7. And then we saw a similar thing with even a highly popular um, sought-after four-star basic champ like Dr. Voodoo, where he was almost 6 million, the highest number ever for the arena, but then dropped all the way down to 4.2 million. So I think we're going to see something similar with Hyperion, especially with round one. Given that the 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 hype, if you will, around is probably closer to Mordo, Doctor Voodoo, or probably be between those two. And lastly, when it comes to the three star arena for old champs, I mean, the gray line there pretty much shows you <laughs> the to get that feature old champ, it's uh, pretty much the milestone rewards. You're right around uh, 640,000. If you get through the milestone re reward for three star arena and go a little bit above, you'll you'll probably be fine to grab that um, to grab the Punisher three star arena. So, kind of to recap, what do my actual numbers look like? So, to actually grab Punisher, you're probably going to have to get around 7 million. Again, even though the first round typically for an old champ is around the 5.5, 6 million, I think you're going to see Punisher because he's harder to get in the game than the other four-star champs, old champs, that you're going to see him closer to Punisher, somewhere between the average number and, not Punisher, but um, Star-Lord, which, so I'm predicting that first round to come around 7 million. And then with Hyperion, Again, I think it's going to be somewhere between uh, Mordo and Dr. Voodoo, where we saw uh, Mordo low 5 million and Dr. Voodoo 5.9. I think you're going to be able to get Hyperion for 5.5. Now, that just to say, kind of going into that, I don't think we're going to see the same numbers for Dr. Voodoo, but I could be wrong. So if you really, really want to get him in the first round, and maybe that'll be your first and you want to dupe him the second time around, you might even want to go over 6 million. But 5.5 is kind of where I think the number will come in. But I've been surprised before. And then as you saw on the graph, to get that 11 to 25% tier, you basically have to get to the milestone rewards plus uh, a, a couple hundred thousand. Uh, and then you'll be, well, not even a couple hundred thousand in this case, one point, you know, 50,000 more just going above the milestone rewards will get you into 
that 11 to 25 percent tier and then lastly for the three star I mean, he's an old champ, so those typically go right right above the milestone rewards, which is at 640. So I'm predicting around 675 will be the cutoff to be able to get in that top 10%. Now, the only thing I'll, I'll say is he, the three star is also only available through the arena crystals, but they've been popping up a little bit more often now. I mean, and this is based off of my own experience. I've gotten many three star punishers before and i've only gotten one four star punisher so my only watch out that is if you really want to get the three star punisher and you haven't received them yet you might want to go to above 675 maybe even to 800 thousand, just because again there's that rarity factor that comes into play with punisher and then of course 11 to 25 percent we saw that number around 450 but anyway these are my predictions for round one of the punisher and hyperion um, arenas so if you're uh, planning to go after go after any of them, especially the, either the four star either of the four star arenas in this case, have fun grinding this weekend because it's gonna you're gonna have to put a little work to get them. And um, you know the second round, especially with four star basic, we see a drop. But uh, if you wanted to, if this will be the first time to get that four star Hyperion, you're probably gonna have to do it both times around if you want to dupe them. So happy grinding. Good luck. Um, if you have any questions or comments or thoughts on this, just throw them down in the comment sections. Love to hear about it. And if you like this video, uh, appreciate a like. And if you like this and other videos I've got in the channel, feel free to subscribe. Other than that, thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.